What is going on guys? Welcome back to the farm vlog here at Hidden Heights Farm. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Got somebody back here crawling on me, old oh, Skeeter. Uh, today is election day. I went and did my part on my lunch break. I hope you guys did too, or you can't gripe about anything. Do your part and uh, get who you want uh, elected into office. Do your part. It is all right as an American citizen. So I'm not gonna talk about that. We don't talk about politics on here. No drama, no politics, none of that stuff. But we are gonna talk about some goat meat. Today, we are going to uh, throw some goat meat on the pellet grill, but we've been waiting on something. So you guys, I know most of you probably watch uh, Arms Family Homestead and Keeping It Dutch. Oh, Daniel and Dutch there. And they're always sending me Snapchats and little videos and stuff of them always cooking out there on their grill and they're always bragging about this Everglade seasoning. Well, uh, we had a subscriber, an awesome view of ours, reach out to us and say, hey, you got a package coming in the mail from Amazon, be expecting it um, on a certain day. We finally got it in and what it was is some Everglade seasoning. And I keep seeing all these awesome YouTube channels cooking with this and uh, telling me how awesome it is. So what we got here is we got some goat chops, we got some goat steaks, and then I think what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna try, I don't know if we're gonna try them all four, if we're gonna try two. Um, Daniel and Dutch both swear by this Everglade seasoning, and Dutch keeps saying, man, that cactus dust is my best favorite go-to seasoning. So we're gonna get a, give it a shot, aren't we, Skeet? <laughs> you smell that goat meat? And uh, I think we might cook up some fried potatoes, something like that to go with it. But this video isn't just going to be about cooking. We're going to go outside. We're going to go check on the animals. Uh, the pigs are now gone, so we can't go see them anymore. Uh, we should be picking them up hopefully the next week or two. We'll get that back. And to the two of you that are, I know you watch every one of our videos. Uh, we had two awesome friends. I call them friends. They're actually viewers of our channel, but they're friends as well. They purchased the two other hogs that we had. And uh, as soon as they're done at the processor, we're gonna pick up all that meat and deliver it to them. So thank you guys very much. And I gotta show you guys a couple more things that some awesome viewers have sent us. I have not even hung this up yet because we're kind of in the progress of uh, rearranging an office back there behind that wall there. But this is just some metal sign that has a big P and it says our last name on it. How awesome is that? And this one here I like even better. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I'm going to probably hang that up, probably in our dining room wall, maybe something like that. And then we had someone that custom made this little sign here. Uh, they actually made one for uh, Dutch, and they sent one for us as well. So thank you guys so much. I'm not going to mention any names. Uh, sometimes we mention names of people that send us things, and some people don't like that. So we're not going to mention it. You guys know who you are. Thank you so much. So let's head outside, get the pellet smoker fired up. It's gonna take a little bit to get the temperature and I gotta come back and cut these potatoes and stuff, but we'll go get the uh, smoker fired up and then we'll go check on the animals. All right guys, so I got the Camp Chef pellet grill, smoker, whatever you want to call it. I got it set at 275. Um, you don't want to cook goat meat too hot. You don't want to cook it too fast or it can get kind of tough. Same thing with deer meat. You kind of want to cook it kind of low and slow, but you do want to get it up to temperature. Um, with goat meat, um, we haven't cooked it a whole lot. You know, we've only been eating it for the last year or so, really. We even raised these meat goats, but we've only been eating it for the last year or so. The thing we've learned with it is you kind of want it like a medium rare. Anything more than that, it starts to get a little uh, tougher, you might say. We actually like it like a medium rare, and it's it's not the same as like a beef steak. So it's a little different. You got you kind of have to play with it and get it right there where you like it. But as far as the flavor, it is hard to beat. 
This guy's not going to be complaining he gets any leftovers or bones, right? Mojo? Mojo? What do you know, boy? So the pellet of choice today is just what I already had in there. And it is a charcoal pellet. So it's not really like mesquite or hickory or anything like that. It's actually just charcoal flavored. So that's what we're going with. And it shouldn't take too long to cook. Uh, these chops and steaks are cut pretty small, so you know we'll we'll kind of just watch them. We'll throw them on there and watch them. I I've never done it on the pellet smoker. I've only done it on the actual pro propane grill, and it's always turned out really well. So um, I might have to really babysit it on the pellet smoker because I don't know if it's gonna take a little longer, if it's gonna cook faster. So I don't know. It's gonna be a little experiment. And yes, we still have the turkeys. I have not made my mind up about them yet. They are uh, very annoying, I do know that. So uh, let me grab some dog food and we'll go check on Daisy and uh, the Spanish and Kiko goats. Okay, so I just noticed something again. So the other day I posted a members only video. Um, I was editing a video and I went to upload it on YouTube and I seen the option that was new to me. I'd never seen it before. It said, uh, you know, you got your publish now, schedule, unlisted, and then it said members only. And I was like, members only video? I've never seen that. So, uh, members only is a $4.99 fee you can pay to be a member of our uh, Hidden Heights YouTube channel. And what that is, is um, it's where you get an extra tab on YouTube. And if you're a member, you can see it. Uh, you can see us post videos, you can see us post pictures, or just comment and stuff like that that you wouldn't normally see and if we're on a live stream it actually highlights your name in green um and we're not pushing the membership on anybody by no means we appreciate everybody watching but this is going to be another perk that we're going to try to offer our members that do pay the monthly fee we will try to put a video up every so often that is members only and what i was getting at is i tried a little trial members only video and as I was coming out here to shoot the video, this chicken was following me around. I swear it was just like having red back around. She was, every step I took, she was with me. And she, I got this deer block here with some corn and sunflower seeds and all that in there. She's sitting there trying to peck it. But anyways, uh, what I noticed, it's gonna get dark on me, so bear with me. I'm gonna grab some food. What I noticed is she was following me around and I come in here and got a scoop of dog food for Daisy. And then as soon as I uh, come over here, she was following me, so I just kind of gave her some. And we're going to see if we can't make her our friend just like Red was. What do you think? I don't want to feed you too much dog food because we don't want you to get sick. I don't know if chickens are supposed to have dog food. Probably not. But anyways, guys, I just thought that was the weirdest thing. <sighs> if you're a member of our page, you've seen that video. It was just so weird how she was following us around. And it really brought back a lot of memories of Red. And uh, this weather, this Oklahoma weather. So one day it's frosty, cold. You wake up the next day, today it's like 79, 80 degrees. And the ladybugs are everywhere. Ladybugs are like all in my truck. They're all on the side of the outside of the house. I'm flying in my face right now. And there's Miss Daisy. Who well, you know, girl? And there's the twins from the movie, The Shining. These two girls right here, I talked about that in that video I posted. They remind me of those uh, weird sisters in that movie. Kind of scary. Right, Daisy? So let's trick these goats so we can get Miss Daisy fed. Come on. Let's go see how much of this hay bale they've eaten on. Look at that. They've eaten a lot of that hay bale out from the bottom. It hasn't even been cold yet, and they're starting to eat this hay. So it's a good thing we got it out. Come on, Daisy. Let's go around the other way. Come on. Come on, Daisy. And here are the nuisances. These are all the new nuisances on the farm. Come on, Daisy. Come on, girl. Every time anybody makes a noise, there she comes. There you go. All right. So, guys, I know she is not a replacement to Red, but I think we're going to have to come up with a name. What name? Where'd she go? Oh, she's right behind me. What name can we give this little chicken? Here. Look at this. You gonna follow me around like Red did or what? <laughs> Guys, this is uh, so weird. Come on, Mojo. 
Come on, boy. Guys, this is uh, very, very weird to have another chicken out of the blue follow us around just like Red did. <laughs> Maybe we'll have another channel star. Oh, that is crazy. She's still right behind me. Look at this. <laughs> and I know if you guys go back and watch the videos, because I, I edit the videos and I watch pretty good, I have never noticed any other chicken do this besides the red chicken. And now we got this white yellow colored chicken butterscotch colored chicken <sighs> i really hate to name any animals because it seems like if you name an animal you get bad luck so i don't know we'll have to be thinking of a name because she is pretty friendly come on mo turkeys you can stay out there Here you go, goats. So the pygmy kikos have been eating their hay bale. I'm not gonna walk over there, but you can see how much of that they have got eaten down or eaten out of there. They've been going to town on it. It has been cold here. And this year, it actually started getting a lot colder earlier in the year than it has in the past few years. So that's why we went ahead and put out the hay bales because it was cold and nasty and rainy. Got somebody rubbing their head on me. Shadow, what are you doing, girl? Does that feel good? <laughs> well, you know, Ebony. You rub me, I rub her. How about that? She's scratching her head on me. So, uh, it's, you know, like I said, it's like 80 degrees today. The trees are still turning. I don't know if you guys can see very well or not. The colors are pretty vibrant right now. Still got our pine trees on the hillside that stay green all year long. I don't know if you guys can see the trees across the hill there. But it's pretty right now. Alright, so I'm going to scratch these goats for a little bit. And then we're going to get back to uh, cooking the goat meat. We'll talk about that. i got to cut up those potatoes. Make some fried potatoes. I have not had those in forever. And uh, we'll see how this goat meat turns out. And make sure, uh, we're going to see if Daniel and Dutch know what they're talking about on this seasoning. I did taste it just with my finger, and it did taste pretty dang good. But I want to taste it on some meat. Alright guys, so we're ready to season the goat meat. And what we're going to start off with is this Everglade seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. And what we'll do is we'll probably do a few in one, and then we'll do some more in another. I don't know if we'll do two or three. I'm gonna season both sides of it pretty well. The seasoning smells really good. It smells really fresh. And like I said, I have never tried it, but uh, Daniel and Dutch swear by it, and the food they cook looks amazing, and their family seems to really like it. So thank you so much for sending this can't wait to try it and then the next one is going to be the Everglades cactus dust man it smells really good they also have a hot one I asked Dutch if he's tried it and he said no Man, this does smell good. This is like a barbecue flavor. I know this is a lot of goat meat for four people, but uh, well, whatever's left over, we'll stick in, in the fridge and it'll make some nice leftovers. All right, so we got our seasoning on the goat chops and steaks. And it looks and smells amazing. So now I'm gonna get the cast iron skillet out, get it hot, and start dicing, washing, and dicing some potatoes for some fried potatoes. Maybe throw some green beans or corn or something on the stove to cook. 
But I'm not gonna show you guys all that. I'll uh, show you when we start putting this meat on. I'm gonna let it sit here and season a little bit. These potatoes will take a little bit longer to cook than this probably is. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, got the potatoes diced. And if you guys do much cooking like we do, you probably hold on and save all your bacon grease. Yes, this is an old butter dish, but you can see it's labeled bacon grease. Got some bacon grease in there. We keep it all in the refrigerator. Got our diced potatoes. So, so let's get this grease in here. Fry these potatoes with some bacon grease. grease all melted in this cast iron pot I actually love these cast iron pots I wish I could find one that was a little deeper than this I think they're considered uh, chicken chicken fryer pots I think this is an old Wagner number eight and I would love to find some more cast iron stuff like this I want some bigger stuff so you can cook some uh, like more of a quantity or a little higher edges on it like a deeper pot so all the grease don't pop out I actually use some like this to fry fish in and stuff like that all right let's get these potatoes in there hopefully don't make a mess and there you go Guys, I am telling you, look at this. This meat looks and smells amazing. It's like a, it's like a little rub of what that seasoning's turned out to be. And it smells wonderful. Now I'm just gonna start throwing these on here. And right now, we have indirect heat. I don't have the little uh, lever pulled for direct heat. I think I'm just gonna do it indirect and see how it turns out. We, are, we were at 275. And we'll try to maintain 275 temperature until these bad boys are done. Boom. Look at that. Smells wonderful. Let's close the sled and get the heat going. We dropped this down to 204. So I'm gonna go in the house, wash these potatoes, get some veggies started, and we'll come back and check on these in just a few minutes. Alright guys, been on here uh, for 20 minutes with the indirect heat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start flipping them. And we're gonna put it on direct heat. I think they're cooking up pretty good. Like I said, these are small cuts. It's not going to take long if you do not want to overcook. But it smells amazing. It won't be much longer. The potatoes are pretty much done. On these uh, Camp Chef pellet smokers or grills, you just pull this out. And now it has a direct heat. So I'll let that go for a little bit and we'll be uh, right back. Alright, I think we're done. We're going to check it here. We got it set on, uh, of course these thermometers don't have a setting for goat, so I got it on veal or lamb. That's a little bit of a bigger piece. It needs to be about 145. And we are there. Look at that. Of course these little pieces might be a little warmer, yep. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this off. Do a shutdown that way it gets all of the pellets out of the auger. And uh, let me go get something and plate this up. All right, guys, got it plated up. Man, it looks amazing. Look at this super juicy, moist. The seasoning smells wonderful. Everglades all purpose and the barbecue rub cactus dust. Man, and here is why I love cooking on or cooking with cast iron look at this if you got well seasoned cast iron look none of these potatoes are sticking at all that is the key cooking with cast iron is keeping your stuff well seasoned 
and you won't have any problem with stuff sticking and the taste and the flavor from cooking with cast iron is amazing. So uh, I'm gonna round up my family. We're gonna get some plates and see how this goat tastes with this Everglades seasoning. What do you think, Kaya? Good. You like that goat meat? Mm-hmm. Caleb's not a big fan of it, are you? Mm-mm. He eats it, but he's not, it's not his favorite. And then Rachel, what do you think? I like whatever seasoning that one was. She likes the cactus. No. Dust. No? No, she don't. She likes the uh, all-purpose. I like the... Which one is the red colored meat? Cactus does. Okay, I like the one that's more brown. The one that's more brown? Yeah. Or red? Like this one here. That is the all-purpose. Okay, that's the one I like. Yeah, I like them both. Um, the cactus does taste more like a barbecue rub. Here, try this. So it is, I mean, they, they serve for that. different it purposes. Is. As far as seasoning goes, Caleb's going to try some of the all-purpose. He wasn't a big fan of the, uh... I think he's got... Or no, he's got the all-purpose. He's going to try the cactus Yeah. Dust. See if he likes that. You like that yeah, it's better? More. It's chewy. Let me see your face. What? <laughs> Kaya, <laughs> she Kaya loves, loves it. it. Here, can you have... How many pieces have you had? Three or four. four? They're not... They're just little bitty, like, little bitty T-bones. I mean, there's not a lot of meat on them. <laughs> So, Skeeter, she don't like this cut in it either. She, she would rather just eat it off the bone. What do you think? Do you like that one better or not? Just a little bit better. Little I'm bit still better. not a big fan of it, but. Well, that's okay. Right. Well, you well, don't have to be. Well, we appreciate um, our friend that sent us this. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We have tried it. Now we got to try the other two and see what we like. And we got some quail in the freezer still. So, we might have to thaw some quail out and try it on some quail. I think that is. Uh, the video that our awesome viewers seen us cooking some quail. We've been posting our older videos on Facebook every day, and we got a lot of fans on Facebook that don't watch our YouTube videos and vice versa. So some of the people on Facebook are seeing our, our older videos. So thank you guys so much. If you have come over from Facebook, or if you're going from YouTube to Facebook, thank you so much. Um, have some more. <laughs> eat all eat that off the, the meat bottom. off of there. Um, if you guys are interested in this stuff, I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can purchase this on Amazon. Get it right delivered to your front door. Easy way. Um, I'm a big fan of it already. We've only tried it on the goat, but I'm looking forward to trying it on fish and chicken and the quail. Who knows what else? Isn't that what Daniel Arm always uses? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. In Dutch? Yep. That was nice. So thank, thank you, thank you uh, Daniel and Dutch for recommending this season. It is awesome. So uh, if you guys are interested, check out the description down below and, uh, and thank check you it out for yourself. To the awesome subscriber that sent it. Yep, and I showed them the signs as well and talked about all that. Oh, good. So guys, um, good luck. I hope whoever you voted for wins the election. I know Rachel voted, I voted. She's got her sticker on and um, <clears throat> No, we don't want. Well, hey, we're not. We don't get into that. <laughs> we don't get into that on this channel. So, anyways, uh, I don't want to see any of that in the comments either. But, anyways, guys, um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Check out our older videos and be sure to ring the notification bell so you can see our newer videos. If you and don't, our best. and our best. If you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook, go check us out on there because we're posting different stuff on those platforms, trying to mix it up a little bit. And uh, if you guys got any questions or anything, hit us up on email. Leave it in the comment. We'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.